Okay, how to make an old printer wireless. So I have a very old printer. There it is. It has a parallel connection and a USB connection, and I want to get it on my Wi-Fi and make use of it. So a couple things. Actually, the only thing I really need is a print server. Now the print server, in this case, has a USB, which is what I'll connect my printer to, and Ethernet, which I'll connect to my network. And here's a wireless router. It has four ports on the back. Now you can buy print servers that are already wireless. There's different flavors. This is just the one I happened to pick up. And it was pretty cheap. So I got an Ethernet cable that will connect the two and a USB cable that will connect the printer to the print server. So if you open, I open up this old printer, you can see I actually have a parallel port down at the bottom. That's that one right there. And I have a USB that's right above it. Now they actually make parallel port print servers. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of different uh, kind of print servers. I decided to get a USB one. So I'm going to plug my USB cable to my printer. And now I'm going to plug the other end to my print server. And take my Ethernet cable and then plug it into my wireless router. Now this really only works if they're in the same room or in the same vicinity. Um, but this is the general idea of what you want to do. Or you may have, if you buy a wireless print server, then you don't need to make the connection at all. Now in my case, I decided I that you know, since that wireless router is downstairs, I have the printer upstairs, I happen to have a wireless bridge with four ports. So what that basically does is you allow, allows you to connect four devices and they essentially become wireless. And since upstairs I have an Xbox and that type of stuff, I'm going to plug a few things. So I go from my print server, connect directly to my wireless bridge, and then the wireless connection between uh, the bridge and the router will happen there. So once I get everything plugged in and connected, I just got to follow the instructions for the bridge. Uh, in this case, I got to load up some software on my PC. And then it just it steps me through the whole um, setup, and this is kind of the end pieces there. Was it? And um, I think I sent up a test page, and then I opened up Notepad, wrote in "Hello World," and tried to print it. And the whole thing was pretty straightforward. Key thing was just to follow the directions. I tried skipping a few and had problems. And so I sent that to my printer. I walked upstairs, and voila! There we go. There's the some of the generic uh, uh, test pages, and then there's my Hello World. So just a couple tips. I mean, the other thing is I advise to make sure your printer is set up first. That was a very old printer sitting in a closet. So actually, the first thing I did uh, was to bring it downstairs, connect it to my PC, and make sure I had all the right drivers, and I could actually print when it was directly connected. So once I got that with the USB and it was directly connected and printing, then I knew it was good. And, 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 it, and it was fine. Same thing with any new devices. I would set them up, make sure they worked. That bridge was already working in the house, so I knew it worked. And I hope that helps.